the first type of dual citizens are those natural born Filipinos who migrated abroad in a foreign country and eventually became a naturalized foreign citizen and after that reacquired Filipino citizenship. Natural born Filipinos. Those who are citizens of the Philippines from birth without having to perform any act to acquire or perfect their Philippine citizenship. The question to answer is, were you born before or after January 17, 1973? There is a legal definition of a natural born Filipino. Now, who is a natural born Filipino? A natural born Filipino? one that has a Filipino father or a Filipino mother and born after January 17 of 1973 can be naturalized as a foreign citizen and also can reacquire Filipino citizenship. Another category of a natural born Filipino is that if you were born before January 17, 1973 of a Filipino mother or Filipino father, you must elect Philippine citizenship upon reaching the age of majority or within three years to be considered natural born Filipino. So please take note that former Filipinos are not considered as dual citizens. Let's say, for example, you applied for U.S. naturalization. However, you still have your valid unexpired Philippine passport. What will happen to the Philippine passport. The Philippine passport will be voided because you already acquired foreign citizenship. Can you use it as an identification for travel purposes? Yes, you will be considered as a former Filipino citizen and you can use your Philippine passport as a form of identification, but you cannot use your Philippine passport for purposes of proving your Philippine citizenship. Because once you applied for foreign naturalization, you are deemed to have lost your Philippine citizenship. Now, if you wanted to acquire Philippine citizenship, then dual citizenship comes in. Please take note that if you have been naturalized in a foreign country, and if you still possess a valid Philippine passport, you are not considered a dual citizen. Mere possession of a valid Philippine passport does not make you a dual citizen. You must reacquire Filipino citizenship by taking the oath of allegiance again. If you are now a dual citizen, there are immigration entry requirements when going to the Philippines. If you are a dual citizen, you must have with you your three pages of dual citizenship documents. If you are going to the Philippines and if you don't have a valid Philippine passport, you can still enter Philippines using your foreign passport and three pages of your dual citizenship documents. The first page is the Oath of Allegiance. The second page is your identification certificate. And your third page is the order of approval. If you don't have your Philippine passport, you can present your foreign passport and your dual citizenship documents to enter the Philippines. However, there is now a new Bureau of Immigration Advisory for dual citizens or for those using a different travel document to enter the Philippines. For example, you have your U.S. passport, but if you lost your dual citizenship documents, you can apply for a travel document that is valid for 30 days and you can enter the Philippines together with your U.S. passport. However, if you eventually acquired a Philippine passport while in Philippines, you must use the same travel document, for example, your U.S. passport to exit Philippines. If you have your U.S. passport and a Philippine passport to travel in the Philippines, you must use your Philippine passport to exit Philippines as well. The second type of dual citizens are those dual citizens by birth because they were born abroad of a Filipino parent or parents 
or former Filipino citizens. It's an automatic dual citizenship or citizenship or dual citizenship by operation of law for a child born in the Philippines of an American father and a Filipino mother. Now, the American citizen father must report the birth of the child, which is called the U.S. Consular Report of Birth at the U.S. Embassy. And the Filipino citizen mother must register the birth and obtain a PSA birth certificate. After doing this, the child can apply directly for a U.S. passport and a Filipino passport or Philippine passport. Another situation. A child was born in the U.S. of an American citizen father and Filipino citizen mother. The child acquires automatic dual citizenship or dual citizenship by operation of law. The parents must register the birth and the Filipino citizen mother must do the consular report of birth or report of birth at the Philippine consulate where the birth took place. The child do not need to apply for dual citizenship. The child can automatically apply for U.S. and Philippine passport. These are two situations where one can obtain automatic dual citizenship. This is also called dual citizenship by operation of law. There are other privileges of being a dual citizen. Here are the benefits. First is the right to travel. Filipinos have the right to travel. Generally, Filipinos can travel as long as you have the necessary immigration requirements. During the pandemic, Filipinos have less restrictive travel protocols for quarantine and testing purposes. In addition, you can stay indefinitely in the Philippines because you are a Filipino. Another right is the right to own land and property in the Philippines. Generally, there is a prohibition to own land among foreign nationals. Another right is the right to engage in business or commerce as a Filipino. Another right is the right to practice a profession. Make sure to comply with the requirements of the appropriate body or agency. Another right is the right to vote in Philippine national elections. If you recently traveled in the Philippines or if you are planning to go, please share in the comment section below your experience. Please let us know if there are any issues that you have encountered while traveling as a dual citizen. Again, thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.